So there may be times that you want to change a value to null instead of something else. So let me give you an example here in our little capital country table in the My World database that we created a little bit earlier. I want to select uh, asterisk from, let me put these on separate lines, from country underscore capital where the district equals not applicable. Okay, and we did this uh, in one of our previous videos. Remember, we had dashes there. We changed it to not applicable. What happens if I actually want to change those to null? Well, this is just a standard update query. It's actually really, really simple. We just change the column. When we did the update query and we set it to a specific value, we just change that value to null. So remember, every time I do an update query, I like to do a select and make sure I get the right data. And then, let me clear that. I want to update, and then I'm going to set, remember the update query. We do the update and then the uh, table that we want, country underscore capital. I want to set district. Now, what we did before is we set the district is, and then we did slash, whoops, and slash A to set it to not applicable or NA. I want to just change that to null. And null is a key word here. I want to set that to null where district currently is NA. And what this should do is should, it should take all of those where district is NA and change that to null instead of just leaving the NA value here. So I execute, it says 13 rows affected. And let's see if it worked. We're going to select asterisk from country underscore capital where district is null. And let's execute. And there we go. We have them all now set to null. Okay, so it's just a simple up query setting a null value is just a simple update query. It's just that when we do it, instead of specifying the value that we want, we specify the value equals null and that takes care of it for us.